Today we're going to be hunting cornfields and pumpkin fields for whitetails. All right, here we go. We got a perfect lineup. We got three whitetail deer laid right out in front of us at about 300 yards. There we go. All three hit. One definitely got hit in the spine, but that should take him down eventually. I don't know if we got it or not there. Oh, I mean, yeah, it's going to take it down. For sure, vertebrae hit, it'll take it down. So that doe is laying right there. I thought we might have dropped it. Oh, hold up. I see what happened. Here's where we took the shot. And it was no organs hit, but it was definitely a vertebrae shot. So he is going to go down. But here's this doe, double lung at 280. And that obviously is from this doe right here. Liver stomach shot at 290. So she didn't go very far. And then the buck is the one that we hit in the vertebrae. All right, finally, we got our buck laying right here. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be a spine shot. What? That shot does not make any sense whatsoever. But okay. Oh, big bull, big bull, big bull. Oh my God. Oh my God, that should have been a heart shot. Oh, it was, it was an epic, epic shot. Whew, we got him. It was not a heart shot, but it was a pretty incredible lung shot. Took him on the run at about 80 yards out there, maybe a hundred. But we're holding right for the heart. Must have hit right behind it, but definitely smoked that bull. And there should be some good blood right back there. Yep, excellent blood. Going up the hill here. Let's find our bull. And here he is. Take a look at this. Wow, that's a beautiful looking bull. I'm going to say that's like a 230s bull. For sure, like 215. I don't know, it's kind of hard to tell, but he's got a great, great looking rack on him. Let's pick him up and find out what he's going to be. He's going to be at 207 gold. Took a 80 yard on the run shot and made a beautiful, beautiful shot there. Obviously, we hit him a little bit high because I was holding for the heart, but we're zeroed in for 160 and still made a perfectly centered lung shot on a great looking bull moose there. All right, we're getting pretty close to approaching this field here. And when we do that, there should be some white tail all the way along this brush row here, which connects to the cornfield. And then there's also a little pumpkin patch right over here. Oh, what do we got out there? Okay, so this is quite interesting because there's a huge fox out there. And this coyote is smaller than the fox. On the last. Oh, we got moose here too. Oh my God. Well, we're going to go for the coyote. And then we're also going to go for the fox. And then we're also going to maybe even try and get the moose. We'll see what happens here. Yeah, can you say triple? Because I sure can. <laughs> wow, that was so cool. Definitely got that moose a bit high, but it should have got through there and at least hit lung. You know, the coyote smoked and you know that fox is not going anywhere. And that is officially a triple. All right, so let's pick up the coyote, then the fox, and then we'll go track down our bull moose. Here's our coyote. Got him in the intestine. Hit him with a seven millimeter though, so he did not go anywhere. And the fox. I mean, I absolutely love the response time with the seven millimeter. You can get your follow-up shot in so fast. Ended up getting him in the jaw and skull there, so we we're a bit high, but did definitely take him down. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, so we got two cow moose right there. That means that our bull is down somewhere between us and them. Has to be. Oh, <laughs> he's literally piled up right in front of this tree. Look at, he's literally piled up right here. Wow. Okay. 
Well, we found our bull. And there's the cows. So here's our bull. Ended up getting actually a decent centered long shot there. 96 yards and a 150 bull. All right, so that moves kind of threw us a little bit off course, but we'll get back over there to this position here and we'll work our way around the back of this side of the field over here because there's a good chance there should be some white tail over there. All right, well, there's the bear about 180 yards out. We got a nice field here where there potentially could be some white tail, but I'm not seeing any. And if there are any, then they should be far enough away to where the shot really isn't going to bother them too much. So we'll go for a kind of inside heart shot here at about 250. Got it. Perfect shot there. And let's move along over here to see if we can't spot some other white tail. But here's this bear piled up right here. Ended up getting a perfect heart shot. 180 yards. Nice, nice, nice. And our coyote should be coming. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. another bear. Oh, there it is. It's a sow, but it's definitely another bear. You know, I'd like to get a shot off with the 338 here. Just so we don't need to track it quite as far. Yeah, definitely not going to need to track that thing. I'll tell you that. Woo. All right, here's our bear we took down with the 338 and got a nice walking double lung shot. 180 yards. That thing dropped right on the spot. Well, we found the white tail, but boy, are they pretty far away. In fact, there's one right out there. Oh, whoa, 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 coming right past us, coming right past us. I think I have the 700s in here, but we're gonna be taking down this doe. Oh, man. Oh! Not getting her, Never mind. Oh my god, look what I just found right next to that buck. Holy, look at that rack. We got a 220 plus whitetail right there. Maybe even bigger. I can't tell, but we also do not have a shot either, so that's not really a good thing. And that buck there is about 300. So, in fact, if we mark him there, then we'll basically be able to get to... Thought I heard something. We'll be able to get to, well, 270 and put out some calls. Then, potentially, we might be able to get this big buck to come in. We just might. You know, I've been wanting to have a big buck in this area for the longest time now. And last time we were here, we took down a whole entire herd of white-tailed does because the bucks never came back. We were here one time. We took down a beautiful white tail with the muzzleloader out of that tree stand there. As a matter of fact, oh, so we're good. Holy, look at that buck. 220 to 260. That is a diamond potential white tail buck. Oh my God, that's a great, great buck. So it's either like a 258 or a 248. And I really can't tell the difference, but we're in range to be able to call and see if we can't get this buck to come in. Let's actually back up a little bit so we can not be completely out in the open. And oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're coming in. They are coming in. All right, time to get set up. Get back into the stand and get ready. Oh my god, here we go, guys. We got a hunt set up for us right now. All right, so we have the recurve bow, and we're going to throw in the 540s because if that buck comes close, you know we're definitely using the recurve bow. But there they are right out there. Still got a pretty good ways to go to get all the way over here into range. But I'm confident that they could come this direction. All right, we just got to our stand, and here we go. Coming in, we got a white-tailed doe about 180 yards out. Another white-tailed doe right there. There, oh my god, there's our buck. There is our buck. 240 yards coming in, followed by a really good buck as well. We got basically two 200 plus whitetails coming right towards us. Oh, hold up, hold up. That buck just spun right around. He did not like something. I don't understand what could have happened to where he spun around like that, but something definitely happened. 
And now he's walking out there at about 260. He's actually going to drink right in the middle of that river. And again, provides us with absolutely no shot whatsoever on that buck. Come on, bucks. I can't believe this, but we've been calling for five minutes now. And all the does came in, but the buck did not come in. We literally have four does surrounding us right here. But there's no sighting of those bucks. They came in right to the top of that ridge. And I haven't seen them since. While we're sitting here waiting for that buck to show himself, I'm going to show you the tree stand location that we're at right now. It is over here on the far west end of the map. And the closest outpost is the Umbago Pond Lodge. We're just to the north and our tree stand is set up right here. We have a tent set up right here and our tree stand is right here overlooking this whole bend here as well as the river bottom. And you have this whole back over here which is where they feed and rest. All right, you guys. Well, our big whitetail buck did not come in, but we got the second biggest buck coming in right here, about 80 yards out from us here. And our big buck is still out there. In fact, I think that might be him again. It is him. Okay, we should get a shot off. If we can get this decent buck to come close enough, we can get a decent shot on him. No, 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 no. Don't spook. Okay. Oh my God. Thank God. I thought he was going to spook. Okay, no more calling. I shouldn't have called twice like that. I really shouldn't have, but it just happened. Oh, another buck coming in here. So we got to pay attention to our giant buck as well, which I'm pretty sure he's right behind that deer there. But these does are coming right underneath us perfectly. All we got to do now is let the buck follow. Here he comes. Oh, that could be a shot there. How far is that? It looks like a good opportunity for a shot. 36. All right, we'll let him come a little closer. There's that buck as well. All right, it's going to be about 25 yards right there. Once he gets broadside, we'll take the shot. Right now, he's quartering at us a little bit. Ooh, that's going to work. Perfect shot. He's going down. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, it was a good shot. It was definitely a good shot, but... Oh, there's our buck. Oh my god, here we go. Finally. Finally. 250 yards. He's down. Held right on top of the lung. We should have been good. We really should have been good. I mean... Yeah, I could have held right on the heart at that distance, but... At this point, we really just wanted to get him to go down two feet. Yeah, he was about 240. So we should have had just a hair of drop. And yeah, we got two bucks down. So mission accomplished. Boy, I really thought we would have smoked this first buck. I mean, held it right on his front shoulder. It was super close. Couldn't hardly have messed up that shot. But um, I haven't really used the recurve that much with the 540s lately, so. I'm sure we got him right in the vertebrae, but that's all right. There's our buck down right there, and that is definitely a spine shot if I ever seen one. 182, so it was a good buck, but not quite big enough for a goal. Plus, we're super high up elevated in the tree stand. Oh, I forgot about that. I should have helped for the heart. If we helped for heart, it would have been a beautiful double lung shot, but you know what? I'll take it. Still, a nice buck down. And over here, we finally got a shot on our huge white tail so that should be like a 246 probably that's my guess nonetheless he's laying right where we took the shot so things are looking pretty good for us here all right here's our buck not gonna be able to see the blood oh yeah that's a vital hit there we go beautiful white tail down from the tree stand at 240 yards all right, let's take another awesome picture because that is a sweet looking picture right there. Of course, the sun went down or it went behind the clouds. But we'll take one more picture and let's pick him up. 
It's going to be a 236 gold. Pulled off a beautiful 239 yard shot and actually placed that thing perfectly. Wow. I told you we'd have a little bit of drop and we did in fact have just that. Basically, we were holding for top of the lung right here for about 250 and we did have a good two inch drop, which ended up hitting perfectly centered double lung on this awesome white tail buck so yeah pretty awesome way to end off this video and uh that is gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you so much for watching and i hope you have an amazing weekend and we'll see you next time boy i'm so glad we got this buck it took so long to get this and actually make it happen We've tried three different times to take the shot and every time there was a tree or some kind of obstacle blocking the vitals and we just opted out of taking that shot. I really wanted to call him into recurve range, but I was like, you know what? If he gives us a shot at all, we're taking it. And he finally did. It stopped out there at 240 and boy, we put that thing right on the money.